I'm here to talk about UX and UI. That's happier? Wasn't that? That wasn't happy? Really? Like... No, you don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm a senior designer with All Things Media. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about UX and UI. UI stands for user interface. That's the uh, junction between a user and a program. Usually the user interface refers to the junction between a man and a machine, but nowadays, usually whenever you hear the term, it's more or less referring to mobile applications or websites, digital interfaces you would see on a screen. That would be like the buttons, menus, uh, scroll bars, text entry fields, icons, that kind of stuff. A good user interface should convey what its purpose is in a very obvious way. It should feel familiar. You should understand things pretty naturally when you're looking at a well-designed user interface. For example, a uh, button could be designed with a simple geometric shape like a rectangle or a circle and uh, like its physical counterpart would probably be maybe designed with a raised aesthetic over the surface that has been placed. Obviously would probably have some label or icon on it as to what its purpose may be and would offer feedback when you interact with it like maybe appearing to be pressed into that surface. Now, UX stands for user experience. The user experience is the human relationship between user and the content or the program or the product. User interface is just an extension of your will into a machine, whereas a UX is about the emotional response, about the overall experience. It's about the satisfaction, the impact that a user feels, the idea behind a good UX is to make sure that you're conveying everything that a user wants to know where it makes sense or where you think it would make sense for them to want to find it and not overwhelm them with too much. A good UX would be easy to use. It would need a compelling narrative. It would need to be visually appealing. It would definitely need to be attractive. That's part of the draw of any. Uh, content or products is that you want to make sure that it appeals to your target audience. If you're building something for a child, you want to make sure it appeals to that proper age group. If you're building something for a uh, corporate business versus entrepreneurs, those are two completely different things. When we talk about the onboarding process of a website or an application, that latest video game that you decide to buy and learning how to play it, the entire experience of learning how to use and enjoy the content or qualities of this product that you just purchased or are interested in purchasing need to be not only interesting, but they can't be daunting. You can have the most usable interface for registering to a website. Recognizable entry fields, drop-down menus, checkboxes, radio buttons, 20 pages of getting granular about every private aspect of your life. But no one would want to complete that. That would be an example of a really good UI, but terrible UX. If you have a ton of inf information that you want to convey to your users and it's organized so that everything is upfront or everything is deeply buried, you could make things very difficult for your user to kind of generally understand, to grasp. So all of these things are key to what a UX, a good UX would be. The UI is just simply the thing that allows you to interact directly to control a program or a machine, whereas uh, UX is all about generating satisfaction in the user that is dealing with your product or your content. A UI doesn't care about that. A UI just wants to make sure that it's usable. Well, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Why, why do I keep shrugging? <laughs>